Hello, this is Theo, and welcome to the second Gridded iOS tutorial about creating, importing, and editing. So today we are going to start off by going to this Dex button in the upper left-hand corner. And right now you are looking at all of the built-in Dex with the response type State Capital. Now the response type is like a category for your flashcards. So you can have a category of French and one for German. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create our own response type by going to response types and then selecting the middle tab and clicking add response type. So we're going to create some French flashcards. So we'll type in French. Um, and here we can create our decks. So if we go to this plus in the lower left hand corner, we can either add a single deck with a title, or if we want to, we can add multiple decks at the same time. For example, if you wanted to have decks named French 1 through 5, There we go. And now we have five decks with each with no cards in them. And we have the same selection tools on the bottom as we did in the other view. Um, so we can select a deck and open it by hitting done. And now we have a blank canvas with no, no cards on it. So next we are going to add some items. If you go to the plus in the lower left, there are two different ways that you can add flashcards. And we're going to start off by the using this one. Add item. And as you'll see, each flashcard has a prompt, a response, and a notes field. So we are going to start off by by entering a prompt and a response, and hitting add. And then if we hit cancel, you can see that we just created a flashcard. And if we wanted to, we could hit play. And we can view the prompt and the response. Um, if we were to add an item and we didn't know what there is, if we were to try to add, say, a, f a French flashcard for the word wheel, and we didn't know how to say that in French, we could use this translator at the bottom. Um, and this is powered by Microsoft. And we could use that as our response, just like that. Also, you can select a word and click look up. To see what the dictionaries say. Um, as you can see, it is a feminine word, so I'm going to put a definite article there and add my flashcard. So now we have two flashcards, and if we wanted to import a whole bunch of 
flashcards at the same time from some source. We could go to the other option, which is add many items. And then say you have some format like this. Um, or your flashcards might be uh, they might be separated by semicolons or tabs or doesn't matter too much then you would hit hide and then we would have to take these commas and put that comma in this area and choose the order in which these cards are and then we could hit done and there we would have added a few items at the same time now if we were to try to add something that had already been added at some point you can see that the that it will turn a color in this preview here and we can choose in the options tab how we would like what we would like the program to do when we try to add an item with a prompt for which we already have the card. Um, so say that you don't particularly trust this source that you're getting your flashcards from and you would rather use whatever you have at the moment you can check mark use originals and then it'll go through each of these flashcards and it'll just use the response that you already have so we can hit done and as you can see it didn't add another flashcard with the with prompt 6 it just kept the one that we had and it kept the response that we already had as well now if we were to play one of these and go back to our dex view you can see that we have a 1 out of 6 on the bottom because we have played 1 out of 6 cards and in the upper left we have a 5.8 now if you were to play all of them at the same time um, and get them all correct so that so that in the upper left hand corner of each of them you had a 6 which is the size of the deck then you would have a 0 in the upper left hand corner of your deck now if we go to a second deck and we try to add an item and we're about to add one that we already have in our other deck um, these buttons up at the top will pop up and ask us if we would are if we would like to use the one that's already existing so we can do that and now if we were to play it in this deck and go back to this one go back to our first deck you can see that the same card is inside two decks so if you change it in one it'll change in the other
our next topic, if we go back to the second deck, sometimes when you're importing cards, you'll get them in formats like this, where you'll have your prompt be multiple things separated by commas or semicolons or something like that. And if you don't like this format, what you can do is you can edit the card. The way you can edit a card is if you play it and then click on the row. Um, and you can choose to split it into two cards by using the split button. And now, as you'll see, we have two cards with the same response. Um, so now, if we go back into our decks, and let's say that we want to create a master deck with the cards from either, both of these. What we can do is we can select both of them and hit this button and then choose create deck combining these we can name it something like all French and now we will have a deck with all of the cards from either of them in it and if we go back to decks here and we delete all of these say that we only have this deck and it has a lot of cards in it and we would like to split it into smaller more manageable sized decks what we can do is select it and select break into smaller decks and here we can enter the maximum items per deck. So let's do four items per deck. Or how about we do, let's do two. So now as you can see we have four decks with smaller amounts of items in each of them. So the next topic, which is useful for organization and sharing your flashcards with other people, is if we go to response types and select the bundles tab. So a bundle can have, a bundle is a collection of decks. You can put decks with different response types together in the same bundle if you'd like. So we will create a bundle here. We'll name it my bundle. And if we go back to our response types and select French, we can put a couple of decks inside of the bundle. And now if we go back to the bundle, you'll see that those decks will be inside of it. And you can rearrange the order of the decks inside of a bundle. And one final topic, if we go back here, if you would like to edit a built-in deck because otherwise they are not editable and you cannot add cards to them what you can do is select them here and choose make editable copies and what you'll get is a bundle with editable versions of your built-in 
flashcards. And as you can see, the plus button in the lower left-hand corner is no longer grayed out. So that is it for this tutorial. Um, in the next one, I will show you how to use the spaced repetition in Gridded. So see you there.